Are we moving into the brave new world of robotics in pharmaceutical industries with uh, robots uh, handling active ingredients? Hello, I'm sitting here with Armin Scheuermann, editor-in-chief of Farm and Food and Chemie Technik. And what's your impression on, on uh, pharmaceutical industries nowadays with these higher and higher potent active ingredients, how they are handling those ingredients? Well, we see a strong trend towards um, automated solutions, automated processes, but also uh, a high interest in um, robotic solutions. There are not so many. We, we see some in um, isolators and so on, but um, the restrictions are all, uh, already um, very high. Uh, so you you have to cover the the robotics part. You have to cover the the uh, uh, the control of the uh, robots. So that's not so easy. But I think that will come in the future because uh, the technical improvements are very fast. Yeah. From my point of view, it comes again because 20 years ago, when when this started with highly active uh, ingredients, OB5 was wow. It's OEB5, it's an OEB5 product, nobody uh, uh, knew really how will we handle this. And uh, uh, robots seem to be the only way of handling such active ingredients. Nowadays, it's quite common to handle them without robots, just with, by controlling the uh, um, interfaces to the venicity. And, and even when today it's at getting more and more discussed, will we handle those ingredients only with uh, robots? I think in the next future, in 20 years maybe, they will say, okay, <laughs> OB6 is not that big topic. Okay, <laughs> I see. <laughs> um, in, we already discussed the possibility to handle OEB, for example, OEB5 products in a, in a plant that has not only OEB5 um, segments, but also, for example, OEB3, because the product is diluted in the process. So, um, what, what do you think? Will this be the, the, um, the future concept? Because you, you can bring down investment cost in uh, this uh, concept? It's an, act, uh, an actual concept that we have and, and that the pharmaceutical industries have. They, they know that API, that's clear. An API, the active ingredient, this has to be handled in an isolator because the potency of this active ingredient is that high. But later on, I come from OSD, from oral solid dosage forms. So tablets, the tablet is 200 milligrams or so. And, and only one milligram, for instance, might be the active ingredient. And so it is the uh, dilution is something that must be taken into consideration and that makes living easier and working easier. I learned that containment is always a matter of interfaces, the interfaces between processes in the um, whole um, line. So what is your... Um, point of view, how uh, to implement interfaces, to avoid interfaces and uh, to come to a process that is um, uh, safe from OEB5, for example, to the, the ready produced uh, tablet. This is really a growing market and there's something which is new in the last 10 years, which came up in the last 10 years. So in the, in the beginning, we had high shake granulators, one machine, one interface to the to the IBC, and then fluid bed dryers, and then blenders, and then uh, uh, coders, and so on. And and this is going more and more into the direction to have a, 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 a like a chain of pearls uh, is are uh, added together and combined together to have a closed cycle as long as possible. So the, the, it starts with the, the charging of the ingredients and it ends with a more or less finished product 
uh, in the end of two or three steps in the process. Are there any technological improvements in the interfaces um, compared to 10 years ago, 20 years ago? Yeah, there are, there are really many advantages that you have now with those new uh, um, um, equipments, uh, split butterfly valves especially, uh, um, that are used to, to uh, um, form the interface between the IBC with excipients or uh, um, API or both in a mixture, in a blend uh, together, going into the machine and uh, um, at the exit, let's say, from the machine to the, to the final IBC where the pro finished product then is, is charged. And those interfaces, they, they have increased their, their behavior in uh, regards of containment. And when years ago, uh, one microgram per meter cube was the big achievement. Uh, we are talking now about 100 nanogram per meter cube. So it's, it's getting better and better. And, and um, I, I'm sure this is not the end. Incredible development yes. from my point of view. <laughs> In my point of view, the ultimate solution of a, a, a production system based on robots would be a production system that is a robot, continuous from, from uh, A to B, avoiding all interfaces. What do we make of this uh, vision? Yeah. Maybe it's it, uh, this is maybe this is a coming solution. In the moment, we're talking more about uh, uh, reducing interfaces, but not completely from the very beginning to the very end, because of also the the, the different handling in isolators. When we are talking of highly active ingredients, and then the the coated tablet, which doesn't need any containment because it's coated, but uh, um, yeah. We will see what the future brings. And when in the beginning I said that if we are dealing with the brave new pharma world where, where everything is done with robots or everything is done in a closed process, it will be a mixture of both, I think, in the end. So that's it for today. See you next time. Stay healthy and stay tuned.